Um, so, so let me, I think the main thing I want you to do as I work through these questions is, you know, just to show you the sections that they relate to. So this question, which surfaces a higher temperature surface of a yellow star or a red star, uh, it's uh, getting to the black body radiation that you have uh, learned about. Um, you might have also seen black body radiation in physics uh, for B as well. Uh, we also cover it here. And um, you, we have this black body spectrum. And you see how as the temperature of something goes higher, where the maximum of the emission happens, it, it gets to a shorter wavelength. So someone that's at about the surface of the sun might emit white light, and something that's cooler would emit a redder light. So with that, the surface of a red star would be, uh, wait, not higher, surface of a yellow star would have a higher temperature. Okay, let's keep going. It says, cool star body whose temperature is increasing from 1000 Kelvin to a million Kelvin, okay. Um, uh, let's see here. So this is, um, again, black body radiation, you know, there's the section read it through it, uh, where you are not sure, compare your answer against it. Let me just uh, go through it answering here. Now, black body radiation, it's emitted by bodies of all temperature, higher than zero Kelvin. So it's not quite going from not emitting EM radiation to emitting it. It's still emitting something here, so that's not correct. The total intensity of electromagnetic radiation, now, this is not correct. Within the section, you read something called the Stefan Boltzmann law. It talks about how the intensity of light goes as temperature to the fourth power. So there's a quite strong dependence on total intensity, so that's not true. The color of the body changes from dark or dark red to bright blue. I guess that's about right. Red is the uh, cooler body's color, and the blue is the... Uh, Blue or white uh, is where uh, the hotter object would be. The peak wavelength of, of the electromagnetic radiation it decreases, yeah, shorter wavelength decreases. It's also, there's a, something called the Vins displacement law that also describes that relationship. So this is not correct, it's the inverse of that. If the body can be considered a black body, um, the phrase black body refers to it. Wait, so that's not correct. It refers to emissivity of the body, technically speaking. Uh, a black body is a body with an emissivity uh, of one. Uh, it's the uh, perfect absorber of radiation, also the perfect emitter of thermal radiation. So, yeah. The peak wavelength of the electron does not remain the same. That's there. The total intensity of, yeah, it increases as t to the power of. So this, this is kind of a reading check question, uh, checking if you've read it. You can also do it alongside so that um, anything you might have forgotten, you kind of figure it out as you go. Um, next question. So it's asking, how much does the power radiated by a black body increase? when its temperature increases from 300 to 1200 Kelvin. Yeah. So in the hint, it'll again point you to here. And what you mainly need is the Stefan Boltzmann law, which tells you the, the dependence of the power emitted on the temperatures. This is a constant that you basically have to look up. Um, and A, that's just the area because we're talking about power. If you're talking about intensity, then you don't need the area because it's a power per area. Important thing is here is the T to the fourth power. So here, the temperature is increased by a factor of four. So the intensity will increase by a factor of four to the fourth power. So. <laughs> Uh, so four squared is 16, uh, that square, I, uh, you know, let me just do that on the calculator. So four to the fourth power, 256. That's the factor by which the total power has increased when the temperature increased by a factor of four. It's quite significant. It's a, a really strong dependence on temperature. 